Hi, today I'm going to show you how to lubricate your rails using a special little screw and a syringe. First off, let me start by saying that this is not my idea. I did not come up with this. I just found this on a um, forum and I wanted to show you how to do it because it's, it just makes lubricating your uh, rails so much easier. So I'm leaving a link to the original author's uh, page in the description and you can uh, see the more technical side of this. So let's dive into lubricating both of these and see what we end up with. So let's look at what you're going to need. Uh, first off, you're going to need your lubricant. Now there's a whole discussion about which lubricant to use and I suggest you find the manufacturer of your rails and then see what they recommend. I generally just use uh, lithium grease for everything and I've yet had one fail because of my use of grease. I had one fail because of lack of grease, so let's fix that today. The second thing you're going to need is the special M3 by 25 screw. These are special because they are completely hollow. So they have a hole going all the way through it and that's what we're going to use for lubrication, lubricating our uh, rails. Now this can be done without the special screw but it does mean that you need to pull the rail off of anything that it's on. Uh, so on a rook like this, there's a free, flo free floating rail. You can do this without the screw, uh, but on the Y axis on both of these machines, there's uh, no access to the back of the rail. So we'll, we're going to need this screw. One thing to note is that if you have a printer where the rail is on the skinny side of a 2040, 2060, basically anything other than a 2020, uh, this won't work. I'm sorry, but uh, I just can't find hollow M3s that are long enough for this. Maybe in the future. So how do we go about doing this? Well, it's quite simple. We are going to use this M3 as a pass through for our grease because the syringe, most syringes of this size screw on to an M3 perfectly fine and it's a perfect seal. So uh, what I've done, and I've already tested this on multiple of my machines, is we're just going to put this screw through the rail, screw the syringe on from the other side, and we can lubricate our rails. So let's get into it. First off, the little rook, it's quite simple. You simply unscrew one of the screws from your rail. And then you put the special M3 by 25 through that same hole. And that's it, you're ready to go. Next, we're going to move the carriage above that screw. We are going to screw the syringe onto the M3 and then push in some grease. And then what we're going to do is observe from the side where you're going to see that the grease are, is going to kind of fill in over the sides of the carriage. And there you go, that is the rail done. So now I would suggest either start a print or if you have a macro that does multiple movements, just do that for a while and it'll, it'll help uh, spread that grease around the balls in the bearing. Next up is the Rook 2020 and this will apply on any printer where you have a 2020 with a rail on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a 3.5 millimeter drill bit and just drill through any one of the holes that's not currently attached to the printer. So let's grab this one. Now you want to go through uh, slowly. If you have lubricant or uh, oil or of any kind, put, put it on. I'm actually just going to use the, the lube from the uh, syringe. So I'm going to just drill through. Next I'll grab the M3 screw and place it through that hole. And you can use it just as is. But if you want to make this a permanent lubrication port for this rail, simply put, put an M3 nut 
or an M3 T-nut on the back of this and it'll stay in place forever. Now once you have it secured, I do recommend that you kind of... <clears throat> I do recommend that you clean this hole before you actually lubricate your rails. So just push a small amount of grease all the way through. This will remove any gunk from drilling or manufacturing. And now we are ready to grease our rail by placing the rail over and pushing through until it squeezes out on the side. And finally, if your rail is in like loose air, like on the rook, simply put the syringe on the back and put the carriage on the back hole, push some lube through and you're good. So hope that helped you. Again, I'm gonna leave the links to the author and the original creator of this in the description. And let me know what you think. I really like this and I've implemented it on every printer that I have except this one. So um, let me do the other side and I'll see you in another video. So leave a thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you didn't, and please subscribe, it really helps me a lot. So see ya.